Well, good morning everybody on this uh, lovely Mothering Sunday. And I'll just start with a short reading, and it's Luke 13, second half of verse 34. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under its wings, but you were not willing. This is the word of the Lord. Right, this morning I just want to ask you one question to begin with. What do you first think of when you hear the words Mother's Day? I know that for most people it's, should I get her flowers or should I get her chocolates? First thing you think of, the television for weeks and weeks have been bombarding us with Mother's Day gifts. I want us to take a different look on it. I want us to think carefully about the role of a mother. And this verse illustrates perfectly the role of a mother and the first word that comes to my mind when I think of a chick gathering or, or a hen gathering her chicks is safety, being nurtured, being looked after. Now I know it's a difficult subject. Some of us have children, sadly some of us don't. There are those who don't want to have a family so they don't choose to have children. But the one thing we all have in common is that all are here because we've had a mother. I don't know what your relationship with your mother's been like, whether it's been good, whether it's been bad, but we all have had a mother. And I just want us to think today of what God sees our role as a mother. Because whether we do have children or not, we can all be a mother to others. So I'm going to use a little illustration. And the first thing is, I think when it comes to mothering, and the picture God has of mothering is that we look after, we bring forth children we look after them we nurture them we feed them we help them to grow we encourage them so i just want you to look at this packet of seeds i love gardening absolutely love gardening and i'm sitting here with a hat on and every now and again alan turns around and i've come in from the garden and he looks at me and laughs and i wonder why and it's because i've still got my hat on but i just thought right i'm going to keep my hat on today so here's my seeds and these are geranium seeds now over the last couple of weeks I have, I have planted geranium seeds. Now there's one very important thing about growing and all of you will know, but particularly for the children, if you're thinking of starting to grow, the first thing you do is plant your seeds. And if you're very lucky, after a while you'll get this. Little seedlings, isn't it wonderful? Just how quickly. These actually grew within a few days, which amazed me. And then, a couple of weeks later, what happens with a plant you get leaves that come up first and then you get the true leaf so these are younger and this one has the true leaf of the geranium now how have i managed to get this far and the reason i have and we don't always succeed sometimes with, with better growth than others is that i have been looking after these so first thing you need is this and you have to be very careful and make sure you do lots of watering but not over watering same with being a mother. You can be overprotective or you can stand back. But I have watered these and this is a difference of four weeks between these two. And you know what you end up with in the end? If you really look after the plants and nurture them, feed them, you end up with this. This is a fully grown geranium that I grew last year. And look, bearing the flower, the leaf healthy. Another thing you can do, because plants need sun, and they tend to grow in a direction if you're not careful. They always will grow towards the light. So a little tip for anybody. If you grow your seeds and set them on the windowsill and then make something like this, you know what happens? The plants grow straight instead of bending towards the window. These are my successful plants. I could have brought in a few trays to show you unsuccessful plants. But I just want us to think of how we can all be a mother in the way that God intends us. Because when God describes being a mother in this passage, he's also describing himself. And I know there's an awful lot of talk about the feminine side of God and the, the male side of God. But I think it all combines to make a vision of what God wants us to be. And that's people who nurture each other, look after each other, most of all encourage each other. Encourage growth, but then know when to step back to let that growth be more natural. And I was just saying to Alan a couple of weeks ago when we had the great success with the vaccine and I said to him, you know something, I thank God for nerds 
And they sort of looked at me and I thought, you know, how often do we make fun of our, our friends in school? Oh, look at him, he's a swat. Look at him, teacher's pet. I thought to myself, if it wasn't for the nerds who went on to be scientists, we wouldn't have the vaccine. So could we please, just a, a short illustration, look after your friends the way you would look after a plant. You, you plant them, you let them grow, you let them look to the sun. And we see the sun as Jesus. We need the sun for growth. We need the sun and the water, but we also need to, to care for each other. You know, lots of people are feeling very lonely at the moment. Lots of people have lost loved ones. They, they have nobody to turn to at the moment. They're very lonely. But let's just see this role that we actually all have, whether we're male or female, whether we're elderly, middle-aged, or whether we're going to school, back to school, and I'm glad you're all back to school, boys and girls. Just remember, this is a role that you can start early in life to be that mother in, in, the, in the image of God. Look after your friends. The ones that maybe aren't as bright as you, encourage them in the things that they are good at. The people who you think are far too smart, see that as a God-given gift. Let's use what's left of all of our lives to encourage one another in growth, to know when to stand back and let that growth take spurts of its own. But more than anything, let us be the way a mother should to all our friends and family that we will gather people under our wing, that we will look after them when they're lonely, when they're sad, we'll celebrate with them when they're happy, we'll hold their hand when they're grieving. Let us be Christ-like in that mother side of God to everyone we encounter. For that's what Jesus requires of us, because that in itself is being Christ-like. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, thank you for mums and children and for all the joy of family life. Be with those who are grieving because they have no mother. Be close to those who are struggling because they have no children. Be near to those who are sad because they are far apart from those they love. Let your love be present in every home and help your church to have eyes to see and ears to hear the needs of all who come. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. And let's encourage this in everyone we meet.